Today we're gonna to talk about what happens during the sold stage and getting my keys. Hi, this is Melody Wilson with the Real Life Team at Remax Elite. So I just wanna chat with you. You have now um, removed conditions on your property and the house is now sold. What does that mean? It means that we get to put a sticker on that sign if you're a seller, which is super exciting. You can start packing now um, and you can start making arrangements to either buy another house or move or whatever you're planning to do. Um, from a buyer's perspective, you got to hold on tight there. Um, we'll get you into the house the day of possession. So from sold to possession date, sometimes there's a week, two weeks, three weeks, three months. A lot of time happens in between. What happens in that period? Well, when the property is sold, the paperwork is sent from the real estate office to the lawyers that are conveying the, conveying the deal. They're putting everything together and getting all their stuff on their side ready. And that'll be in another video with our guest lawyer to talk about what do the lawyers do at that stage. Um, you will be meeting with the lawyer a few weeks before possession to sign off on all the mortgage instructions and all that kind of stuff and lawyers go through all that stuff with you. Um, and you will most likely be going into a bank to sign off on papers as well. And then you just sit and wait. So we let you know usually the day, two days before, um, about when we're gonna meet on the day of possession. You're supposed to get keys by noon. We usually plan for 1 p.m. just to be safe, but we usually have the keys in the morning. We take them in trust so that if we get a call at 10 a.m. and you're ready to go, we give you a call and then we'll just meet you right out there right away. Um, we, on our back end, are checking week prior to make sure that all your stuff has been sorted with the lawyers. We don't have any surprises last minute. And we want to be proactive in making sure that we are informing you and making sure everything's going smoothly. So typically it's quite smooth. Um, and then that day that we, the right before we get possession, we arrange to get the keys in trust so that we're prepared to meet you as soon as we possibly can. So hopefully that answers your questions about what's going to happen now from sold um, to getting keys on possession for both buyers and sellers. And in all instances, congratulations on selling your property. And thanks for tuning in. Share this video if you found it helpful. And thanks so much for watching.